Hey guys, Will here, Flawless Exotic Creations with King Gamer Luke. Hi. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your business, Luke. Uh, so one of my businesses is that I'm a YouTuber. Uh, I film gaming videos like horror games, puzzle games, or games like Minecraft that are just survival. But I also vlog, so I'll tell you a bit about my personal life on my vlogs. And also, if we go to certain places, then I might vlog that. It's actually really cool and fun. But another one of my businesses is that I also help around with Flawless Crafted Geckos and Flawless Exotic Creations. Uh, because I help either clean things or we go to shows. And then I also help by just talking to people and talking to customers. And since I'm a YouTuber, uh, my experience with talking to just random people who I don't know actually helped me with my YouTube. So it makes me feel more comfortable just talk on camera. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. So you like doing it. You're having a lot of fun doing it. Yes. Awesome, awesome. So King Gamer Luke is going to help with this unboxing. Yet again, another unboxing. So a little bit of lead up to this, guys. Uh, big box is only one snake in this one. It's a female. So we went out to Timmy, um, and it was mind blowing in Timmy. Next, shoot, we gotta get you out to Timmy so you can meet the people. But uh, what an experience! The animals, the people. It was just amazing. Um, can't speak highly enough about it. That being said, we literally Audra and I had to split up and go two separate directions in order to try to get around between the people we were meeting for flawless crested geckos. Uh, shoot, we were meeting people out there for Flawless Exotic Creations, which is kind of just kind of taking off for us. It's really cool. We're really enjoying the process. Um, but while doing that, even Audra was coming across stuff and trying to take pictures of it to send it to me, but I wasn't able to really stay on top of my phone. I'm getting old, so I have my multitasking is kind of falling by the wayside. So it was periods of time where i mean i'm trying to check instagram messages instagram posts i'm trying to we didn't even get to go live out there off of instagram or facebook trying to check facebook uh responses checking all the, the youtube stuff and we're both running separate cameras trying to record content for videos for you guys as well to show you guys the experience so we had a lot of stuff going on uh no excuse though it really messed up because uh you snooze, you lose. RJ ended up sending me on Saturday a picture. I can't even remember the breeder, but he had proven uh, female that was a normal double head ultra male pie. Um, and he had two of them at the time. And we missed them. They were $1,000 each. And um, by the time we got back around there to them on Sunday before we had to run out of there for our flight, um, cause the airport's like an hour away. Went back by the booth, tried to secure them. And he was like, yeah, they're sold. And apparently he had four originally there that they're all sold. Um, can't believe we missed out on that. You know, we weren't specifically hunting for that, but that's something we need, especially with our double visual mail. So we can try to produce double visuals year one, which is gonna leap us so far ahead. We're gonna create a bunch of uh, pie with uh, codoms and 100% head ultra male females to build off of as well this season. So we're excited about that. <clears throat> but who wouldn't be excited about leaping ahead and creating more double visual females um, to breed to as you move forward with different projects, especially with that Aussie boy on the show growing up as well. So what we have here is basically missed out on that deal in Tenley, came home, was pretty bummed about it, you know. Uh, weren't looking to spend four thousand dollars but we would have spent it to get what that i mean that would help us tremendously um so we looked around and almost missed out again found the guy down in texas uh purchased from these are originally from regis and um or this is originally from regis and he posted a post he had it uh two proven double head from regis uh ultra male pie um girls that he was selling for nine hundred dollars a piece. I'm like, oh my gosh! So I hit him up. Um, he hit me back. I called him on the phone. Tried to reach out to him like ASAP. Let him know how serious we were about getting them, and he had already sold one. And um, 
we ended up getting the other one. I told him, hey, if the other deal falls through, let us know, we'll get that one as well so they can ship them both out. But that deal didn't fall through. Guys, I can't, you know, especially you guys that's, that's deep into these projects, we think we're deep in, into what we're working with. When you see these deals, don't hesitate, pull the trigger. I seen a video also with Billy from Mutation Creation up in Canada. And he told a story and a, a short version of the story is basically he was doing some dealings with or trying to do some deals with uh, Ozzy. They're friends. They do work. I mean, this is their, their, their field. And the short part of the story is he contacted Ozzy because Ozzy had a mail uh, that he needed for his program. And Ozzy had it, I may be wrong on the price, but it was like $5,500. So Billy tried to cut a deal with Ozzy. He said, hey, would you take five? You know, cutting $500 off of that snake. And Ozzy was like, nah, you know, sorry, yeah, nah. You know, pretty firm on it. And it, you know, no harm, no foul. You know, it is what it is. You're trying to make a deal on something and you're just making an offer. He gets it. But is it worth it for you? So that's where we're looking at it. You know, so what does that mean? He hung up with Ozzy and he sat there literally, I think he said 15, 20 minutes thinking like, I really need this snake. I'm not going to lose this deal for $500. He called Ozzy back up and said, hey, Ozzy, just like that. He said, hey, Ozzy, go ahead. I I'll take that snake. He said, hey, Billy, that snake just sold. <laughs> he said that snake would have jumped him ahead in his programs like two or three years. And he sat there and tried to barter over $500 and missed out on the opportunity altogether. So I say that to say this, you see an opportunity that you know you need to be jumping on it and you're financially stable to do so, don't hesitate, you know, jump all over that because we are, we non-stop, we ain't slowing up at all. So into this unboxing, sorry baby, <laughs> he's like, come on dad. So this is gonna be a normal double head ultra male pie. He doesn't ship very often, but he did it very well. He shipped with red. Oh no, that's just red lines uh, label caution. Ooh, baby. It's big. It's big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of paper. Mm -hmm. We'll just leave it there for Audrey to clean it up. Uh, That's me. You're supposed to be Team Will. Uh. <laughs> Let me take the zip tie off. The zip ties are extremely secure, but gosh, I hate these things. <laughs> Top flight bag security of the world, Craig. I bet you guys don't know that reference. Comment down below in the comments if you know where top flight security come from. I don't. I you're, have, you're, you're too young. I have zero clue. You're too young. All the OG people is going to know it. Very secure. <laughs> had to cut open the box, had to cut off the zip tie, had to cut off the tie, now you have to cut off the top of the bag. <laughs> Alright. Finally. Okay. That took a long time. No bag is safe. Ooh, this one's really big. Yes, she. Mm -hmm. You got her or you need help? I got her. Oh, wait. I think the. Uh, I got her. I think the bag needs to be open a little bit more. You got her. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, keep turning the body. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Yep. There you go. Good job, dude. Wow. Yeah, she's a big girl. Mm-hmm. Let me show it off. This bag was mega sweet cured. 
no real pod tracks really you see some tracking but <laughs> so that big head very that's pretty cool again double hat ultra male pod um get her into the program get her quarantined and then get her paired up because our ultra male pod boy i mean he is he's that guy he's getting it done um gonna have tons of pod head ultra males with all kinds of combos codons so if you guys like what you see, please comment down below. Tell us what you think of our projects. Tell us what you think about our directions, our review points on what we got going on. But for now, it's Will and King Gamer Luke. Mm -hmm. Flawless Exotic Creations, and we are out. Bye.